All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect, the ones out there doing his work diligently and chiefly keeping the faith, making your calling and your election sure. We're going to get right into it. What's on my mind is to go into Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24. Because we have to understand that we do not control our own, our own selves as far as, you know, directing our future and, you know, saying that we're going to do something definite. You know, this is Proverbs 20 and verse 24. It says, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So what is this bringing out? How can you understand your own way? If your goings, if the way wherever you go is of the Lord, it shows you that you really have no free will. This life has been written already from the beginning. And I'm going to bring that precept out. That's over in Isaiah 46 and verse 10. Hey, this this precept stands out and holds so much weight, you know, because people on this earth think they really have a choice, you know. They think that they, hey, like me, for example, I, when I first went into, you know, when I graduated um, elementary, I thought I was going to high school to be a lawyer. That turns out not to be the case. Then I proceeded to go to, um, you know, college at uh, HBCU, which is a historically black college. I went there. To, uh, I believe the college name was Central State University. And I went there studying psychology. Thought I was going to be a psychologist. That didn't happen. Um, you know, then I proceeded to go to Tri-C, which is a community college, and and I completed the fire academy. Thought I was going to be a firefighter. That didn't happen. You know, so there's several different things in my life that I thought I was going to do, and I was for sure, you know, in my mind, I was sure. My mind was made up. I thought for sure I was going to be able to do these professions, but it turns out, no, the Lord didn't want me there, you know, and I'm pretty sure 90 percent of the people that's hearing me talk. You went through certain things in your life. You went through the similar things in your life, you know, where you thought you was going in one direction, but the Lord completely turns you around and now you're going in another direction. Hey, the scriptures are bringing out that man's goings are of the Lord, you know, it's of the Lord. I got a better one, right? Not better one, should I say? I got another one right here. This is Proverbs 16 and 9. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. You see, so he'll give us over to our mind. You may think in your mind that you're about to go to point A, B, C, you know, but the Lord is the one that directs your steps. So if, even if you go to point A, the Lord wanted you to go there. You see what I'm saying? For example, if I went to the uh, fire academy and I completed it and I became a firefighter, hey, that's what the Lord wanted me to do. It was already written in the plans. You can't do nothing that is not already written. And that comes to that comes to what being delivered. That comes to, um, you know, being condemned, you know, in a fire. It's all written from the beginning, man. And we hoping and praying to be part of the elect, to be a part of that number that was prophesied to make it from the beginning you see that's why that's why we do the work diligently to make our calling and our election sure yeah many of us have been called but like the scripture says only a few going to be chosen and the ones who are chosen the ones who will be chosen at the end was destined to be chosen from the beginning and that's what this is bringing out man you know it's all according to the story the blueprint of the Lord man you know, this is another precept real quick. This is not going to be no long lesson. I just want to hit these few precepts, you know, get straight to the point. Uh, this is Isaiah 46 and verse 10. It says, um, I can start at verse eight. It says, remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. So the Lord is saying, what? Bring this truth to your mind. Open your mind and, and accept What's happening? Except that you have no control and the Lord has all the control. 
wherever he directs your footsteps, that's where he wants you to go. Wherever you wherever you've been in this life already, that's where the Lord wanted you to go. You know, this is Isaiah 46 and nine. It says, remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is none like me. You see, so there is no one like our father, Yahweh, or no one like his son, Yahweh Shai. You know, no one. Hey, our power is to be feared. Hey, these these nations call him the king of terrors. The Lord is a king of terrors. You know, he's a man of war. You know, so he's worthy to be feared. You could put your ass to death in an instant. You know, this is Isaiah 46 and 10. It says declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasures. So this is bringing out that the ending was declared from the beginning. OK, and from ancient times. The things that are not yet done. That that speaks volumes. The things that are not yet done was declared from the beginning. Hopefully this was edifying. I'm going to end it by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem Rekha Kodash. La'ayam Ulam Yom. Shalom. On to the next one.